In today's video I want to show you how to install Vita 3K, the PlayStation Vita emulator for Android. I will show you how to configure it, but also I will show you how to install the games. So let's start with the video, but also leave in the comments if you want to see any other emulator in the channel. So let's start by downloading the emulator from the official webpage. Let's go to Google and look for Vita 3K. Here you will find the link to the official webpage. Once it's open, let's go to the download section and here you will find the different version for the different operative system. We are going to click on grab from GitHub under Android Nightly. So GitHub will be open and we are going a bit down until we see the APK link. Click on it and we are going to download the APK file. Once it is downloaded, we just need to install it and open it. When we open the application, we can select the language, so I'm going to select English United States. Next, and we need to download a couple of files. So just click on Download Firmware first. This page will be open. This is the official PlayStation web page, so there is no risk here. And we are going to click on the Download Update button. We need to save this file and we will start it later. Then we are going to download the second file. Click on just Download from Package. Here, this page will be open and we are going to click on Download. Once it is downloaded, we have the two files that we need. So let's click in install firmware file and we need to select the first file that we have downloaded. Here I will go to the download page and click on the psupdate.pub. After it is installed, we are going to install the second file. So leave the process finished, click again on install firmware file and select the second file we have downloaded. Once the process finished, we are basically ready to start playing with our PS Vita games, but I will show you how to configure it, and also I will show you at the end of the video how to install the games. So here you can just click on next, and here we are going to have a message, so I recommend you click on show next, so we are going to disable this message for the future times. Now you can create your user inside the Vita 3K emulator, I will leave by default, so we can enter it. Once we are inside the emulator, you can see that this is very simple. We are going to click on the upper menu in configuration and settings. Now here I recommend you going to the GPU, check that you have Vulkan activated and also you can install some custom drivers for Vulkan if you have an Adreno GPU. I recommend you taking a look in the internet to your GPU and if it is a Dreno, you can install some custom drivers. So I recommend you playing a bit with this configuration so you can have the best performance, but we are basically done. Now let's install a game to test everything is fine, but at the end of the video I will leave you some tips on how to install the games. So here we are going to click on install zip or vpk and I'm going to select the zip file. And in this case, I'm going to install Rayman Legends. This is a very good game for the PlayStation Vita. So I have already prepared the zip file. So I just need to select the zip file and the installation process will start. Once it finishes, we will find that now we have the bubble for the game. If you open it, you can see that in the top part we have the manual for the game. This is really cool and you can check here, for example, the controllers or some information about the game. But you can also start the game, of course. So I recommend you taking a look in the official web page to the compatibility list so you can check if a game runs well or not. And then you can try in your device how it runs. So now I'm going to show you a few tips on how to install the games because sometimes when you download a game, it is in different formats. So first I recommend you downloading the RAR application. This is going to be used to unzip and zip the files. If I go to the download uh, folder, you can see that I have a game, for example, in two different parts. So to uncompress this game, I need to select both parts and click on the upper menu. Here I just click on OK and the process will start. Once it is finished, we will see that we have this folder with the name PCS and a few numbers. So we are going to compress this folder into zip with this application. Now you can install it in the emulator. I hope you like the video and don't forget to share, like and subscribe.